a quick tip that I do that works well for me that might work well for you guys. Um, I offer everybody at the stop sign. Uh, usually, turn right onto Walcott Road. Usually, most of our customers are first time, and uh, you know, if you have a be back customer, um, I, I give them a discount, at right? The next so level, turn we'll right. do something like twenty five dollars off or ten percent off. But on first time customers, uh, to give like that call to action, I offer them twenty dollars off. So I'll quote them a price and give them the sticker shock. Be like oh hey our minimum and then i will say um but don't worry you know we, for new customers we do take off twenty dollars and that kind of starts that and then of course if they balk in the future i i, I do line, offer line, like other ways sometimes to customer service like you know to, to do good customer service to just like give them like another 10 percent off or something like that um i don't go too low because i can't be doing that for everybody and uh you know we've we got expenses and whatnot but um, just a little tip that might help you adding in uh, a little call to action. Maybe it's something you do for them. Maybe you give 10%, maybe in you one give mile, $10, $20. Right turn toward it seat. works. They like it. Um, I just got uh, a competitive bid call. So basically we're on the way out right now to go see that. Uh, she's just saying, oh, I want to make sure I'm getting the best deal. And I told her about the $20 off. I don't know who she compared us to, but we're not the cheapest. And uh, she called us back. We're, we're going out there to go do it, so she must have liked it. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about some marketing tips that we do. We're on our way out right now to go to a Home Depot. You can find a Home Depot, at Lowe's. At these stores, people are actively doing projects and things, construction, rehab, and have it on their mind. And so you just go park your truck out there or your truck and trailer with your signs and uh, you kind of stand by it and people will begin to look and notice you and you'll get calls. So try to do it at the busy time to, you know, I'm, I'm thinking, you know, in the morning when people are like rushing over to get their stuff for their project for the day, but then you always have the second time you come back and then they get frustrated. So we're here right about, what is it? 1030. So anyways, that's one tip and we'll show you here in just a minute. There we go. Get the graphics. I feel like my graphics could be better. I would have put a big phone number, but I got the phone number on the side and I see people pull up next to me and take pictures of it. But there we go. That's it. Also get yourself a QR code. People will scan it when they sit behind you in line. They don't have anything else to do. All right, so one of the other things you can do is you can go out and put out bandit signs. So we, we just have these red and white signs that are attention getters, you know, junk removal, got your phone number, two color or one color, just uh, like red on white. You go put them out. Uh, we call them bandit signs, yard signs. Uh, put them out in conspicuous places. Try not to put it in places that will get pulled up right away, like homeowners association uh, neighborhoods or property managed places that have like a garden section in front that they maintain because they'll come and pull that up right away uh, some cities are more strict than others some towns are more strict than others but we'll just uh, put up some signs as well this is all good stuff you can do in your downtime while you're uh, waiting for another job to come in uh, you can also get on Facebook and you can put out a uh, an ad and just let people know that you have spots available today. People, this is in this business, they want to be taken care of like right away. So, you know, you just put out there uh, to all your followers or you're following the people who are friends with you. You just say, hey, spots available today. Here's the number to call or go on my website. And they will. All right, here's a nice intersection. I like it because uh, there's a lot of different businesses here and there's residential over there. Um, and so I'm thinking right out here on the road, there's lots of traffic coming in and out of this intersection. You want double-sided signs, you know, so you can get it from both angles. That's what you definitely want. And in a place that's harder to get to so that, um, you know, people can't easily just go pull it out. 
One of the things I found in areas like this that don't have sidewalks and the people's yards go all the way up to the street. If you put a yard sign out there, they're gonna pluck it up right away. So don't do that. Try to find the intersections that people won't be possessive about the sign. Say, you know, that's my yard, don't pull it.